everyone, welcome back to Zoe the Movies. Today I'm so excited because I'm going to be reviewing The Witches, which is one of my favorite films so far this year. So let's get on into the review. The Witches is easily one of my favorite films this year because it's not only beautiful, but it's also very captivating and intriguing. And I think it was perfectly scary. And what I mean is basically, I'm terrified of scary things like Pennywise and any of that kind of genre or sort of scariness, I cannot handle. I will be terrified and having nightmares for weeks, but I felt like this was the perfect amount of scary that it kept you intrigued, but also kind of spooked you at some points, which I actually really liked, which is kind of surprising. Um, but it also brought you a lot of cinematic joy. My story begins when I was a young boy. This fantastic tale will keep you intrigued from the first couple seconds of you watching it. I mean, it's basically about the seven-year-old boy who discovers that witches are real. And now witches hate children. Witches. They're real. And they hate children. Like, hate children? Despise children? If that gives you kind of an idea of how much they dislike them, that they end up turning them into mice. I know. And so it's kind of shocking for the boy. And this film, actually, I'm not gonna really talk more about it because it's such an amazing story. You definitely should go watch it. But it originated from the book in 1983 from Ronald Dawes um, with the same name, The Witches. And I honestly feel like this is better than the book. I mean, I've never read the book, so I can't really say that. But what I can say is that the story was so well narrated and all the characters really just came to life in such a beautiful way that I felt like this was the perfect, Sure. I mean, it's like literally reading a book, just like um, a Kindle. It's like all played out for you. And that's something that I really liked about the film is how well narrated it was. And I actually wanted to know more about the witches. I found myself really interested in this topic, I guess, and wanting to know where they originated from and all this other information. And I think that's one thing that the story does, or this movie has like a really good, it just, I feel like this is something that the film does really good in, which is narrating. <laughs> and now let's talk about the acting in this film because we have Octavia Spencer and she was fantastic. I mean, she does good in every single role that she gets and I really liked what she did with her character. I feel like she was such a fun grandmother to the seven-year-old boy and she was just really charismatic. And then we also have Anne Hathaway who blew me away. She was out of this world. Welcome. What would you do? She played the... I guess head headmistress, head 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 witch, um, and she. Oh my God! You see, girls. He would exterminate those brats. Uh, rats. We would exterminate the rats. She was just amazing. I mean, I she had like this wicked charm to her character, and she's definitely not one of my favorite villains. Ladies, I have a plan. Hundred to transform a child into a mouse. Another flawless performance by Stanley Tucent as Mr. Stringer. You wouldn't happen to be carrying around a mouse on your person, now would you? A mouse? Mm -hmm. You can barely recognize him, and he has the perfect amount of nuances and mannerisms to be just flamboy exquisite. And then we also have Chris Rock, who I felt like did such a good job narrating, which as I said, is one of the things I think this film did really good in. And you, I mean, the boy just shines in his theatrical debut. Everything about this film, like every aspect, um, the sound, the music, the sets, the costumes, the cinematography, the CGI, the editing, everything just brought this film together and made it so well done. And of course, this is directed by Robert Zimpkins, who, created some of the gems of cinema like Back to the Future, Cast Away, Forrest Jump, and many other films, so of course we couldn't expect any less of them. And I love the input from Guillermo de Tormo who shares credits in writing. There's a quality and fantastical monsters that brings delight, and I'm pretty sure this is why he's so attached to this film. The Witches is a spooky story in our generation with real twisted characters, beautiful scenarios, and also reminds us to be courageous, to face our adversities, to work in teams and collaborate, and also to, I feel like it really reminded us of the really important role of a grandparent in a child's life. I would give The Witches a five out of five stars and recommend it for ages 10 to 18, and of course adults as well, because some scenes might be just a little bit disturbing, or maybe that's just a me thing because I am like terrified of anything scary, 
which I've already stated, and I was a little bit creeped out with this film in a good way though. So make sure to check out The Witches on October 22nd on HBO Max, and remember, witches are real. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram at Zoe the Movies and on TikTok at Zoe.Canella. And if you want to, you can also subscribe down below. So thank you all so much again and bye.